So actually, no, I did not go up a size. I take that back. But it's a small. No, it's not a small. One moment, please. I gotta get my glasses. I'll be right back. One. it's Monica and welcome back to my channel today's video is all about date night outfits um, Valentine's Day is literally right around the corner so I wanted to create a video that put together really fun interesting very elevated very chic looks for date night because it's not just about Valentine's Day for date night but just date night in general so I have six very sophisticated, very fun outfits for pretty much any kind of occasion you might go to for Valentine's Day or for date night in general. Um, I love these outfits. They, um, I have like a combination of different pieces, some new from um, Banana Republic that I just picked up. Some items were gifted from Lady Boutique, Wave. Um, I have some stuff from Express. I have stuff from Zara. So this is definitely a haul that consists of stuff across the board. I actually shopped my closet so I didn't go out and just buy a whole bunch of new things for this haul. So I picked some stuff from my closet. So you'll see things that you've probably seen in other hauls already um, and some things are new. So I am very excited to share all these pieces with you. If I, I want to say almost everything is still available and of course I will link everything in the description box so if you see anything you love and you feel like you need it um, absolutely the links will be in the description box but for the most part this video really is to serve inspiration for you now that Valentine's Day is right around the corner Galentine's Day whatever it is you want to go out for you know I just wanted to create a little date night video to serve as inspo so I'm gonna jump right into the video, but before I do that, if this is your first time visiting my channel, hi, I'm Monica and I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta. And if you love fashion, fashion, and more fashion, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video because this channel is pretty much all about fashion and I dab into a little bit of home, travel, a lot of stuff basically. So if you like my vibe, subscribe. <laughs> all right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's jump into this video because Trust me when I tell you that it's good, it's good. Let's get into it. All right, so the first outfit consists of this beautiful dress that I picked up from Banana Republic the other day. I was literally, I didn't even plan on shopping. I was, when, one of my girlfriends wanted to window shop. That's why I don't go out shopping because you cannot take me to a store and not find something. Um, and when I saw this dress, I was just like, hmm. I didn't try it on like this was my first time trying it on and I just knew just by seeing the silhouette mind you it has absolutely no hanger appeal whatsoever so if you walk into Banana Republic and you see this dress the way it was hanging unless you're familiar with these type of silhouettes you would probably walk right by it but just because obviously you know you guys know I have a retail background so um, just seeing the silhouette I knew it would be a hit first of all the color mm, absolutely stunning and then the fit of this dress is amazing. Um, you've got the rib going down, so it really is very slimming. And then you've got the panel that just kind of cuts across. Um, I felt at first it was a little awkward where it was, but it is a lower drop waist, so you can actually play around with it. So if you prefer the line to hit your natural waist, you can pull it up a little bit. And then the top part just does what it needs to do. It just you can play around with it. You can kind of have it off the shoulder. You can have it almost like um, a cow neck type vibe. So you can really do a lot with this dress, but the fit is just stunning. It is absolutely stunning. It was fitted through the lower part of my body and then a lot billowy and, and full on the topper part. And I personally love this silhouette. I think there's something about it that's very sexy and very flattering on almost every body type. I'm more narrow, but it still looked good and I still felt like it still complemented my shape. Um, absolutely, absolutely love this dress. 
it was it is 139 dollars i got it in a size small which is my normal size um i'm very happy with the fit so i would say go true to size it's pretty true to size so go for your normal size um yeah love it i feel like it's one of those dresses that you don't have to do a lot with you know especially if you live in a cold climate and you want to look pretty and it's cold outside this outfit is perfect for you if you guys want to go to dinner and it's freezing that doesn't mean you don't have to look good, right? So what I did, keeping in mind that, you know, it might be a little cooler, or if you just want this vibe for your date night, I paired my Saint Laurent Western boots with the dress. I love the caramel color of the boots. It's, you know, it's just that very rich color, and I felt like it really does a great job of complementing the dress, even though there's a bit of contrast, but the colors complement each other, hence they work perfectly together. Um, I also, well, I had two options for a bag. I could have done my Fendi first in the caramel to really kind of complement this beautiful color, but I decided that I wanted to add a pop of color and a bit more interest to the look, so I introduced my Fendi first in the medium size in the velvet suede. It says red on the website, but I promise you it's more orange when you see it in real life. And this bag is amazing. I've shared this bag on Instagram multiple times. You guys love it. If you're not following me on Instagram, guys, you are really missing out. Like, I've been on Instagram since its inception. So my brand blew up on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you're really missing out because most of my collaborations are actually on Instagram. Um, Daily Style Inspo, you'll find on Instagram as well as my website, onbymonica.com. Um, but yeah, make sure you're checking me out on Instagram, guys. If you're not following me, make sure you follow because, you know, everything is there. And you'll get tons of style in inspo in between these videos and these hauls. But anywho, like I said, I've shared the bag on Instagram. I've done so many TikTok videos with it. And every time, everyone loves the bag. It's just one of, it literally, I, it wasn't on my, was it on my best? Yes, it was on my best wish list video. Even though I bought it like literally maybe a day or two before I did that video, I have worn this bag. And every time I pick it up, I've worn it to the mall. I've worn it to dinner. I've, it's just so versatile. It's just a great bag. And it's a great way to add interest to an outfit. Hence, I'm wearing it with this dress, which is a very, you know, it's a bit simple per se. And it's, I wouldn't say casual, but you can definitely play around with it. But by adding this bag, it just brings life to the outfit. It complements the shoes. It complements the dress. It just transforms the whole look. And I am here for it. I absolutely, absolutely absolutely love this outfit um in terms of jewelry and accessories i kept it a little bit simple actually i didn't change my earrings throughout the whole video so i'm wearing my studs pretty much because i felt like um the studs do a great job of complementing my hair the way it is right now but in terms of arm candy you guys know i love my arm candy so i basically did my dior sorry um dior um cuff lagos michelle david Uriman, apolita rings um judith ripka ripka ring cartier lagos Hermes, Cartier, and my tennis bracelet. And of course, I will link everything that is available in the description box. And if you guys are curious about my arm candy and whatnot, make sure you check out my arm candy video. If you're new, just feel free to get lost in all the videos because I got tons. I got a video for everything. But anywho, love, love, love this outfit. Obsessed with this outfit. I cannot wait to wear this outfit. I feel like you guys have something like this in your closet already. But if you don't, you know where to get it. Banana Republic, 139 worth every penny. On to the next. All right, so look number two features this beautiful dress that was gifted to me by the brand Wave. Wave? I hope I said that right. Um, they are available on Shopbop, and I think Nordstrom carries them as well. Um, and the, the brand has been very generous, and they've sent me... Um, items in the past they let me um, go through their line sheets of what's coming and I get to pick little pieces here and there and I picked this dress because when I saw it I knew this would be a great classic knit dress um, it's very interesting and it's fun because it has cutouts so in my trend report I talk about cutouts and I talk about how brands are placing cutouts strategically to still make you feel comfortable and for you to want to wear it so it's not a trend that is limited to just young people or whatnot i'm 42 and i love this trend i've found so many different ways to rock it this dress is a great example of the cutout trend and the way i style the dress shows that if you're not comfortable showing off skin per se you can always take the cutout tr cutout trend and layer it so what i did with this gorgeous knit dress first of all i went up a size 
because I knew I would probably want to layer it and I knew I didn't want it to be too clingy. So actually, no, I did not go up in size. I take that back. It's a small. No, it's not a small. Hold on a moment, please. I gotta get my glasses. I'll be right back. All right, so for those of you who watched my best and worst um, purchases of 2021, I was on the fence with these glasses. They're Jacques Marie Mage. Um, and they were in my maybe list. So I had my best, maybe, and my worst. So these were in my maybe because I wasn't sure if I would buy them again. Um, and I and I shared that with you guys. And a lot of people were like, well, why not put your prescription in them? And for those of you who are new, I'm in denial and I can't see. <laughs> so I finally went in and I got my glasses. I got my eyes checked. Um, oh my God, I have this really cool collaboration on Instagram where I'm gonna be trying these drops and I'm gonna be able to see. So follow me on Instagram so I can tell you more about that. But anywho, got my glasses. You know, of course I'm, I'm farsighted so I can't see things that are near. <laughs> so yeah, so every, I, and I shared that with everyone and a, a few people actually, more than one person was like, put your prescription in the glasses and then you'll use them. And I did, and game changer, I love them now. Like, they're so good. They look really good with this outfit, too. But I can see. <laughs> so now let me see what size I got. So this is a size small. Yes, it was, I'm right. I thought it was an eight, but it is a small. I got a size small. So I guess it's just a bit more on the relaxed um, cut in terms of the silhouette, which is pretty good because of the fact that there you've got that big cutout at the back You probably don't want it to be so clingy, but I'm sure I could have definitely gone down a size in this dress I could have done an extra small because I felt like there was still a little bit of room There definitely was enough room for me to layer the dress So I took a classic white shirt that I got from Talbot's I've worked with Talbot's so many times in the past I have tons of white shirts. I'm, I'm that person that I I want my white shirts to be crisp all the time. So whenever I'm working with a brand, I'm like, give me white shirts. <laughs> but I have tons of their white shirts. But actually, I really like Tablet's white shirts because they don't wrinkle. So if you need a good white shirt that doesn't wrinkle, check out the Tablet's, Tablet's um, shirts and I'll link them. But yes, I layered the shirt with the dress, did the buttons all the way up to the top. When I put the shirt on, I, start, put, I had the shirt on first, did all the buttons down because I didn't want any puckering or any opening or any kind of puckering under the dress. So I made sure I did all the buttons, so that's very important. And then putting the sweater dress on, holding the, um, the cuff of the shirt, you wanna make sure you kind of pull it through or else you'll get bunching through the white shirt and through the scoop neckline of the knit dress. So you wanna do that, pull it down through the cuff, make sure that you pull, push, the sleeve up a little bit so the cuff comes through so you've got that you know I think that's about three four inches of the white shirt piercing throughout the on the front um, at the cuff and then you also want to pull the shirt at the back so you obviously you want to pull the dress up pull the shirt down front and back to make sure it lays smooth and then just kind of you know pat the shoulders a little bit so it makes it lays smooth because when you first of all put this on it will not lay smooth you'll look a little frumpy you'll look a little disheveled so you definitely want to kind of like smoothen it out um, and that's how I smoothen everything out to kind of get a nice clean silhouette but anywho as I was saying love the dress it is I, I don't think it's maxi I would say it's more of a midi I can't remember is it a maxi it's pretty long and it's got this beautiful slit on the side and I absolutely absolutely love the dress this look was was beautiful on its own um, but I wanted to switch things up so I included my Loewe belt and the beautiful olive green oh I in introduced the belt to this look because I just wanted to make it a little bit more interesting it's a little interest well it is more interesting layered with the white shirt but by adding the belt it just adds a modern very you know kind of trendy ish these belts are not necessarily on trend right now but it definitely elevates the look and that's one of the things with belts like the Loewe belt like this particular Obi belt it adds interest to your outfit and it takes what would have been you know clean classic look and it elevates it to something a bit more modern a bit more contemporary and I love it I am here for it um, also because I have the belt tied to the back you don't get anything to you don't get the belt doesn't obstruct the view of the cutout at the back, basically. Because at first I was going to play around with it and I was going to have 
the belt, the tie to the front, but I found it more flattering to the back. So you can play around with it if you prefer it that way, but I just felt like having the tie at the back, you have all the detail at the back. So it's one of those dresses, you know, can I get a commotion for the dress and you turn around and like the back of the dress. So it's one of those. But anywho, love, love, love this look. I introduced my Saint Laurent platforms. I love these shoes. I got them last year for during the holiday season. They are very comfortable for a platform. I'm obsessed with them. Um, have I? I don't think I've worn them outside of the house yet. No, I did. I wore them in New York and they are amazing. Love, love, love them. Of course, after a while, your feet start to hurt. Their platforms are like, what, six inches high. So your feet will eventually hurt. But in hindsight, in comparison to a stiletto, love, love these shoes. The black suede hue is just so rich and it just complements the whole look and I'm here for it. Absolutely obsessed. In terms of a bag, I did my, my Saint Laurent um, Cassandra bag. It's got that beautiful green croc embossed print that I love. Love this bag. It is definitely not the same hue as the Loewe belt, but it's similar enough and it's in the same color family. So I figured, you know what, why not? Um, and speaking of green and kind of, you know, adding elements of green to this black and white look, I also introduced an old coat that I've had for maybe two or three years from Zara. This is like my first Zara coat haul. Um, for those of you that have been rocking with me since I started this, about a year and a half ago. You've seen this beautiful coat. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Absolutely stunning. I feel like it complements the green bag so well and it complements the overall look and I'm here for it. This outfit is absolutely stunning. It's very chic. It's very elevated. It's a great date night look dinner, um, you know, with friends, with your significant other, you can't go wrong. I also wanted to uh, introduce one other option just in case you didn't want to do a green jacket or if you don't have one, you could also do a classic black and white plaid like this express jacket. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like this express jacket i'm laughing because i still have the tags on it i've worn this jacket out i did collaboration with express so it's mine i'm keeping it but i tend to forget to take tags off and i do this really so when i'm doing hauls i remember the information but anywho you guys have seen this jacket you love this jacket i love this jacket it is a great piece it's a classic piece so like i said if you don't want to do the green or if you don't have a green jacket and you just want to use something that's in your wardrobe already a classic black and white plaid jacket does a great job of complementing the whole outfit and I'm here for it. I absolutely love the jacket, absolutely love the entire outfit. It is such a statement, here for every detail. Love, 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 on to the next. All right, so the next look features two pieces that you guys have seen already um, in separate hauls. This was from my first Express haul. Love this pink sweater, absolutely stunning. And this um, pair of pink pants from Banana Republic were in my last Zara haul of the year, which if you guys haven't seen any of these videos, make sure you check them out. Absolutely fun videos. And that way you can just see how versatile these pieces are. Um, I wanted to create a monochromatic somewhat pinkish outfit, you know, in celebration of Valentine's Day. Um, but I didn't want to be too traditional. I actually have no red looks in this video, just because I intentionally did that, did that, I wanted to kind of steer away from the whole red. You have to wear um, you have to wear red for Valentine's Day, but instead of you know emphasizing on red, why not emphasize on my favorite color, pink? So, did this beautiful pink monochromatic look. I'm obsessed. First of all, the sweater, absolutely beautiful. I love the knit on this. It's stunning. You've got that wide cow neck situation going on. The sleeves are also really fun. They're not a full length sleeve. They're almost like a three quarter. So you can kind of scrunch it up a little bit, especially because you've got the tighter knit on the hem of the sleeve. Um, it's just a beautiful piece. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still available, but I sh I'm sure I will find many options to link. Um, I did get a size small in the sweater. The pants, I got a size four. They are super high in the rise. It comes with its own belt. The fabric on this, absolutely amazing. I hope you guys got these pants when I shared them the first time because I they were on sale for like $39 or whatnot. And I remember when I was, you know, at Banana Republic over the weekend, they had them still and they were regular price again. So I hope you guys got them. 
Um, if not in the pink, they I know they had um, like a beautiful beige ivory color and you can kind of do the same thing with ivory pieces and you know, create the silhouette. But absolutely stunning pants. They are super comfortable, beautiful, beautiful pair. Very, I'm still like in shock as to why they're on sale because they're absolutely stunning and they fit like a glove. They are so flattering and look great on the bum. Um, but yes, love this look. Uh, pair of the two did that um, faux tuck in the front and this allowed the sweater to kind of frame the silhouette to create a smaller waist with the faux tuck in the front only. Um, in terms of shoes, I introduced my match and match shoes. They've got the pink tea tail and it's almost like they've got specks of lilac in there too. And lilac is such a major color this year. Very Perry is the color, the Pantone color of the year, so you can't go wrong with it. And I use those little specks of lilac in the shoes to introduce my new bag. It's a Brandon Blackwood ba bag, which is a black designer. Um, I finally found one that I absolutely loved. Um, and I truly love this bag. The fact that the bag is under $200 just baffles me. I always say you really don't have to spend a lot of money to look good and whatnot. Yes, I know I have a fascination or I'm obsessed basically with designer bags, but that's only because I've, I've worked in luxury for so long and I just lo I love what I love basically, but it doesn't have to be designer. It doesn't have to be a Chanel or Fendi or whatnot. It's just a matter of finding things that I absolutely love and that work for my wardrobe. And this bag does that. Like I'm truly obsessed with it. The price point was 162 if I'm correct. I don't know if it's even still available. And to be honest, the only reason why I found this bag was someone emailed me, I think she wanted a bag or needed a green bag and was asking if I, you know, could find her anything that was under, that was, you know, under $500, which to be honest, can be very difficult depending, but I, I was like, okay, you know, I had a little time because normally I'm super busy. I never have time to do that, but I was just like, you caught me at the right time. So I literally found another Brandon Blackwood bag for her in the green she was looking for. And in the process of finding her, her bag, I found myself a bag. So you know, when you do a good deed, you find something for yourself. Anywho, back to the outfit. So yes, I introduced the Brandon Blackwood bag. Love it with this look. The lilac complements the, the this blush pink so well. So keep that in mind as the season progresses and as we continue to see more and more of lilac, you can pair your lilac with green, you can pair it with pinks, with blush. It just goes well with so many different colors. So get ready to see a lot of lilac on the page. Oh, oh my God, I have a dress in this haul that it's... Anyway, we'll get to it. Anyway, love this outfit. Um, what else did I do? I also introduced, um, oh, can we have a moment for this coat? I need to put these down so I can share this coat. This gorgeous fuchsia pink coat from Banana Republic was on sale and another 50% off. Yes. I think it cost me like a hundred and something dollars. I have no business buying any coats. God knows whatsoever. I have two closets full of coats, but I have nothing in this pink. So you know I'm keeping it. I love it. If it's still available, I'm going to link it. I'm linking it on Instagram, so it might sell out. <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't sell out before you guys have a chance to, you know, to have a look because, oh my God, she's this color. It's just everything. And with the blush pink and that pop of lilac, oh, this outfit. I love this outfit because it's casual. What I did was I took very casual pieces and elevated it with the shoes, elevated it with the bag, especially carrying it as a top handle. The bag also has a strap, but I won't use the strap because I want it to be a little bit more elevated because it's a casual outfit to begin with. But by carrying it a certain way and adding a dressier pair of shoes, you've elevated two casual pieces that have been put together. And then by now throwing in this gorgeous, absolutely stunning coat, you totally elevate the look. But at the same time, if you don't want it to be as dressy, you can swap the shoes for a bit more casual option, maybe a booty, maybe a pair of sneakers, and still, you know, have the the jacket. But if you were going to do sneakers with this look, make sure it's just all white, keep it simple, and let the outfit do the talking. Um, but I love this. I got this jacket in a size extra small because they didn't have any more sizes. There was like an extra small, a medium, and a large, but there were a ton of extra smalls. But as you can see, it is more of a cocoon style, so it's very forgiving, especially if you're wearing blazers and you're wearing bulkier pieces. A jacket like this is perfect for you because you can just throw it over your shoulders. And I talk about this in my coat video. If you have not seen my coat video, my coat trend video, make sure you watch it because you need to watch that video before you buy 
any coats this season, especially, you know, depending on what you want to wear or what your style is for the season or for this year in general. But anywho, love, love, love this coat. I say if you love pink as much as I do, you better just pause and click and get this one because this is everything. It's got the slip pockets. It's got a very interesting collar where you've got the belt around the neck, which I actually really like. I feel like that's such a cool style detail. Um, it's pretty warm. You've got a pocket on the inside on both sides, which I love. The black lining, really pretty. I don't know how much it was originally. I think it was, I think it's three, three, oh my God, it was $3.98. And then it went on sale for $2.99 and then I got it 50% off, so yeah. No slits at the back. Just a great, beautiful, vibrant pink throw over coat. And I love it. It looks great with this outfit. Obsessed with the outfit. On to the next. All right, so outfit number four features this beautiful jumpsuit from Lady Boutique. Um, you guys have seen quite a few pieces from Lady Boutique that I've featured um, prior. Uh, my girlfriend one day who owns Lady Boutique was wearing one of these bodysuits when we went to dinner and I was just like, oh, I haven't seen that. It's really cute. So she dropped, um, she dropped this one off and there's a black option as well. I love it. Love, love, love. So pretty. You cannot go wrong with a sheer bodysuit. It's timeless. It's a great layering piece. Um, because it's so sheer and I really didn't want to do just my bra, I wore one of my, um, skims bodysuits under the bodysuit so i'm wearing like i'm double bodysuiting <laughs> but you know it works it's winter so it's hot anyways but yes the bodysuit is also in a beige so it kind of really blends in but then i introduced this beautiful um cashmere skirt from jay mclaughlin i shared this with you guys in a previous haul um which features quite a few actually no it was not was it a haul i think it was like a um, luxury unboxing and haul whatever try on but i love this wrap skirt it's absolutely beautiful it's got fringe fringe is also a major trend this year and it also has um two gray lines just running through it and i absolutely adore this skirt i wore i've worn it many times i've worn it for shoots collaborations I wore it on Christmas Day. It's just one of those pieces where I feel like it's going to be in my closet forever because it's just timeless and classic. And I love the color. I really wanted to create a beautiful monochromatic look. So we've got the beige on beige. Um, and then I introduced my Bottega mesh pumps. I know they're stretched. They're called, I don't know why they call everything stretch, but anywho, they're mesh, they're pumps. Love the color. It complements the overall look. I also introduced my Bottega Jody bag to also complement that overall beige monochromatic vibe love this look here for it however i wanted to kind of switch things up just a little bit um so i figured you know what why not add some more interest i got this crop little blazer short sleeve blazer from waif as well um love the rhinestone details love the color so i was like well if you don't want to monochromatic look or if you wanted to add a little bit more interest adding a crop blazer like this just complements the look and it looks really really good it's really fun um i also introduced my piece apart coat i've had this coat forever it's a classic camel coat you cannot go wrong with a classic camel coat there's i'm sure there's one or two maybe three or four in your closet because everyone should own a camel coat but i love the look even the look without this blazer and with the coat and everything else it just creates such a chic outfit i also introduced my um, Dior choker to the look. I haven't worn this choker in forever and I love the way the neckline just complements the choker so it's like the choker is almost like a part of the top which is kind of what I was going for and I really love this outfit. I feel like it's very chic. It's very elevated. Um, beautiful outfit. Great for dinner. Great for a host of different events. You know if you're meeting up with other people or your girlfriends, your significant other. Absolutely stunning. Love this outfit. Very chic. On to the next. All right, so look number five features this absolutely gorgeous dress from Banana Republic. When I tell you I am obsessed, I'm not kidding. This dress is beautiful. The print is absolutely stunning. You have um, yellowish green birds, you've got pink birds, you've got the beautiful lilac, you know, which is the color of the year. You've got these full bellowy sleeves. You have the gather detail on the cuff and the cuff does open as well. You also have that same detail um, to tie the back of the, of the dress. 
um, at the neckline, you also have that feature where it gathers through the front and then the neckline is also gathered. This is an absolutely beautiful, well-made dress. It is very full. It comes with its own belt. The belt also has like silver like little, I can't remember the name of these little end thingies, but they're kind of like stoppers, but it's also an added, you know, a, a more of a, um, an added detail to the look to add a little bit more interest and to elevate the dress because a lot of brands just do the little knot, but they went far as far as to add this fun little detail to just really add some more interest. It also weighs the belt down. Um, so it's function and it's the look. Then you have another panel at the bottom of the dress that's very full and gathered. So it's just a really pretty dress. Like I put this on, first of all, it complements my skin so well obsessed but then the fullness of it the flow this is an absolutely beautiful dress it is 250 dollars but i want to say there's probably like a silk element to this dress let me double check the the details um in terms of the fabric content wow so it's all rayon which is surprising because it feels amazing it really does. I'm 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 surprised because I really thought there would there would definitely be some element of silk in there, but there is none. The lining is um, rayon, and so is the outside. But that just goes to show, unless you're reading the tag on the inside, you really don't know what's in the fabric, but it still has a flow, and it looks like there's some silk elements in the dress, but there's not. But at the same time, the price tag also dictates that you know what a lot of detail has gone into the dress hence you're paying for that i think this is absolutely beautiful if you have somewhere special to go to and you just want something that's going to make you feel instantly pretty this is the one this is just gorgeous in my opinion absolutely love it absolutely love the detail the buttons the there's it's so fanatic to detail i'm so impressed like you really have to like maybe just go into the store and try it on or order it and try it on because I feel like you will not be disappointed. Once I, I put this on and I instantly felt pretty and I'm being very honest with that. <laughs> of course I'm being honest with that. But yes, it's just a gorgeous dress. I love it. I got a size small. Like I said, it's $250. Great, great dress. In terms of styling, I introduced my um, Valentino platforms. I love these shoes. They are so much fun. They are super high. They're like 6.5 <laughs> inches. Um, but... I love them. I just feel like they elevate everything. So these shoes do such a great job of complementing the dress without taking away from the dress, and I'm here for it. Um, in terms of the bag, I did my pink Chanel bag because I wanted to complement one of the, the less conspicuous colors in the dress. So that would either be the pink or the yellow. And I decided to go with the pink to just spice it up to add some interest. The pink Chanel looks amazing with this dress. And then because there's that beautiful pink, I decided to introduce that gorgeous pink banana republic coat again. Um, it's just a fun little way to kind of pair the two colors and it works. I'm here for it. I love it. This outfit is just the perfect Valentine's Day outfit. I might just have to wear this on Valentine's Day. I don't know yet, but I love this look. It's absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous piece, gorgeous outfit. On to the next. All right, guys, last but not least, the outfit that I'm wearing, it features this gorgeous jacket from Zara. You guys have seen this jacket. I showcased it in my last haul. Everybody was like, keep the jacket, keep the jacket. So I kept the jacket and I'm so happy I did. It is absolutely stunning. I got the blazer in a size medium. I'm only wearing my bra with it. And even though I have it in the medium, you know, I don't feel uncomfortable. If I was going out of my house, I would have actually pinned the lapel to make sure that it stays in place because you know, I was doing a little bit of movement and I could see it opening up a little bit. But if I was leaving the house, I would pin, put the uh, a safety pin right on the inside to hold the lapel in place. It also kind of curves in just a little bit, but it still has that boxy vibe, which I'm here for. I love, love, love it. I hope this blazer is still available. If not, I will definitely link something similar. Um, and then in terms of my bottoms, the pants are black halo. I've had them forever. Um, I think one of the videos that I did, I just talked about whites and how to wear whites and how whites are um, essentials. So if you're interested in how to pair your whites or how to wear your whites in the winter or summer and all that good stuff, 
make sure you check out that video. I will have it pop up. But yes, love these pants. They are absolutely exceptional. I intentionally kept the hem very long because I wanted to be able to wear it with um, a higher pair of heels. And I also love the idea of my pants kind of dragging on the floor a little bit. I know it will damage the pants, blah, 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 but it's fashion. It's all good. <laughs> and I love the look. And because my um, Valentino platforms are so high, they don't touch the floor, but you still are, I'm still elongated. So I look a hundred times taller than I am. I look a lot leaner than I am. When you have a silhouette like these particular pants that kind of flare out and still a little bit more tapered and narrow from the, from the waist to about the thighs. So that's always a really flattering silhouette for your body, especially if you want to look longer and leaner and taller. So love the two together. This to me is just a classic you know, very chic, very polished outfit. Um, I definitely wanted to add a little bit more interest to it, so I introduced my Hermes scarf, and I'm kind of just wearing it um, over the shoulders, really, just to add a little bit more interest. The scarf features a little bit of pink, it features a little bit of lilac, it features a little bit of orange, and I just feel like it adds interest, and it takes what would have just been a beautiful blazer and a great pair of pants, and you know, it just makes it a little bit more chic, so it just elevates. So just adding those little details will elevate your outfit and make you look extra special, and I love it, I'm here for it. <laughs> All right, so in terms of a bag, I did my Chanel um, clutch. It's kind of that ombre, you've got a little bit of lilac, you've got a little bit of green in there, so it's just really fun, and I felt like it just complements the overall look. I would also take that beautiful pink um, Banana Republic coat and just kind of throw it over my shoulders. I probably wouldn't wear it, even if it was really cold, I would just kind of wrap it around myself because because I felt like it looks just a lot more chic that way. And the idea is from the valet to the restaurant. <laughs> There's no walking in this outfit. It's literally from one to the other. So um, just a very chic outfit, very polished, absolutely beautiful. I feel beautiful. I feel powerful. I feel like a boss in this outfit, I have to say. And that's why I'm doing this last part with you guys in the outfit. But I'm just, I'm here for it. I love every single detail of this outfit. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Love it. <laughs> all right guys there you have it those are my outfits for date night which outfit was your favorite which little style tip that i threw in here and there was your favorite um what do we think about my glasses <laughs> what would you wear would you do the green jacket i'm sorry the green coat from look number two or would you do the black and white plaid i'm so curious to know your guys opinions what you thought about this video make sure you let me know with your comments below if you have any questions about any of the items if i forgot to list a shopping link for anything please reach out and let me know um i try my best to respond to the comments immediately but sometimes that doesn't happen um so please bear with me if i'm not able to to respond immediately but I get to everything eventually so yes leave your comments below I'm very excited to kind of get that conversation going where are you guys going to for Valentine's Day if anything um let me know let's 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 talk about it <laughs> anywho thank you so much for watching the video to the end if you're new and you enjoyed the video actually not if you're just new all of you guys I hope you all liked the video already because I know my I know my people we know that we like the video first because you know it's always gonna be a good video so if you're new and you enjoyed it and you like my vibe don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss a video guys I do post on Wednesdays and Fridays sometimes twice a week sometimes once a week but you will always have a video for me promise there is always gonna be a video so make sure you're subscribed that way you don't miss anything guys because there's tons of videos I still get questions about things that I've talked about in other videos because that then that tells me that you guys have missed a video so there's tons. There's so much. There's so much content. <laughs> I know it's just, it's a little over a year now since we've been going strong. And, you know, I've, there's a lot. So I've done a lot for you guys and I will continue to do a lot. So make sure you're checking out all the videos and subscribe. Help your girl out. Girl out. I just hit 25K and, you know, I, my goal is to hit 50,000 this year. So <laughs> in order to do that, I need you guys to subscribe. So make sure you subscribe. Anywho, make sure you check me out on Instagram for Tons of style inspo in between these hauls. Same thing with TikTok. I'm having tons of fun on TikTok. So check out me. Check, check, check out me. Check me out on TikTok. Don't forget to like, follow TikTok, Instagram, Odd by Monica on both platforms. Don't forget to check out my website, oddbymonica.com, because that's where it all started. First and foremost, I am a blogger. Um, 
And yeah, if you're new, I've been doing this for 10 years. So make sure you check out my website, onbymonica.com. Tons of style inspo, tons of shopping links for home, for beauty, for fashion, all of that good stuff, all in one place, including the YouTube videos. Everything's there, so make sure you check it out. But yes, thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy your Valentine's Day season, and I'll catch you in the next <laughs> video. Bye, guys.